First, live, local. Good Day Oregon starts now on Fox 12 Oregon. Oh, thank you. We have Sharon Hackman right here. He is the man on a mission with the sauce that's going to put it all together for a perfect Father's Day, which is not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Right. And you have a great idea to kind of put together a fantastic meat dish because as men and fathers, most of us, we like to meat. Yes. So, so how are we going to do this? What do well, we have here? Well, you know, on top of the fact that Father's Day is coming up, I mean, the, the weather's just becoming amazing. It's mm -hmm. grill time. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, grill season's here. So what I wanted to show you guys is a really inexpensive cut of meat that we're going to make just a superstar on okay. the grill. And for those of you who are really nervous about grilling meats on the grill, about how well is it cooked, let me take all that pain out of, out of your life. I love to take the pain out. So here's an easy way. I'm doing this live with you guys. I've got a pressure cooker. Now, not everybody has one. Some people got it as a wedding gift and they've never used it. So <laughs> they didn't know what to do with it. Let me show you an easy recipe, okay? So these are some local grass-fed beef short ribs. Let me ask you. You yes. say grass-fed because most of what you're going to find in the supermarket is kind of a corn-fed or right. something like that. Grain What's fed, the right. advantage of, of getting the grass-fed? It's a leaner. It's got a more robust flavor in my opinion it's got this nice earthy flavor mm -hmm. and and pound for pound it's just a, a bit it's a healthier it's a it's a healthier kind you, of meat. you can eat this without the guilt uh, that a lot of times people associate with eating the typical uh, red meat and things sure like that. you're gonna see a lot less you're gonna see there's got it's got more of a flavor to it at the same time though you've got less saturated fat so you have to preserving. cook it a little differently than maybe your regular I like to cook it a little bit less okay yeah and, a little bit less maybe a little less lower temperature things like that exactly okay. so you put so a lot I of got, salt and pepper in I here. got salt and pepper in the ribs that's it mm -hmm. okay and I take my barbecue sauce, Hacks BBQ, which I know you've had. Sauce. Yes, it is delicious. And you, when did you uh, come up with your own barbecue sauce? Uh, I started manufacturing about a year ago. All local ingredients. I'm from L.A., uh, Southern California, all local ingredients. Again, no preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, uh -huh. no junk, none of that stuff. And, and, and this is going like gangbusters across the country. It is. It? It's yeah. blowing up. Yeah. Okay. I've got just onions, really, just some aromatics, super uh -huh. simple. We've got carrots. No need to take the headache and cut them. You just break them off, Very add good. them in. All we want to do is extract the flavor. I've got a local, get a nice porter, a nice dark rich beer. This I'll is help a little, you. Oh, yeah, these are the whole thing? Yes. Okay. And the beautiful thing about cooking with beer is that you can drink it while you're barbecuing <laughs> as well. There you go. And we're going to just fill it up to the top. Oh, okay, so you can we're do this. Keep going. All right. Nice. We so make you're, a good team. Like a four pack right here you're putting in here? Um, yeah, I'll probably get three in there. Okay. And this is a cool trick. Don't try it at home, though. Yeah, uh, okay. You've got to see that. He just opened that up with the end of a spoon. This is cool. Do it one Again? more time. Party trick. See, now I'm not going right to be able here. to do it because you uh, put the pressure on me. Uh. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> there we go. Oh, we did it. There we go. Okay, now we fill it up. So we're going to get a lot of rich coffee notes from the beer. We got the barbecue sauce to add a nice sweetness and tang and spice. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So, again, all I do is lock this up in the pressure cooker. And if you don't have one, you can do this in the oven for about four hours at about 280 degrees. What should you put it in the oven? Like a Dutch oven? Yeah, or a, a Dutch oven. Just something just like this. Okay. You're good to go. With the or lid, you can do a braising it. pan. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But this just, we'll, we'll have braised short ribs in 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah, fall off the bone braised short ribs. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, and then you don't have to worry when you're on the grill about, God, is it ready yet? How long do I have to wait? We're just going to finish them off the grill. They're going to be fantastic. And I got some awesome pairings to come along with it as well. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to catch up with you a little bit later on in the program uh, to see some of the pairings and right. come along there. Uh, we mentioned earlier this is live TV. Uh, we don't have any propane. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting some. So, he's so coming back right now from the store. He's coming back with the propane. But the good thing is I like uh, I like my steaks and my, my beef to be really rare. Okay, so me too. So I'll be in good shape with that. And then just real quick, we have a, do I have like a minute left to talk right now? Huh? Kirsten? Yeah? Minute? Something? Um, I want to talk about your sauce that you have. It's a, it's, where can we find this locally if we want to use some of this? Sauce? You can find my sauce now at New Seasons. We just launched with them about two weeks ago. Perfect. Big fans of like really good local um, natural foods. Mm -hmm. So it's now a perfect it. fit. And, and, and I've got some great news for you. Are you ready? Look right there. Look. Is that we've propane? Got, yes. We've got propane. We're in business. We've got propane. Let's get we grilling, are guys. In business, my friends. So uh, <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> after this. Thank you, Michael Chase. Appreciate that very much. We are right back here on the uh, on the back porch with uh, Chef Sharon Hackman, and uh, we, we were out here, oh, maybe 20 minutes ago or so, and what did we do then just to kind of catch people up and what we're right. going to do now? We started uh, just braising our short ribs over here, get them all nice and soft and getting going, right? So in the meantime, also what I did is I got some local apricots that are in season right now, oh, and I put those. a nice little char on them. Literally nothing more than 15, 20 seconds each side, and give them a nice little char. That's it's, it. It's more just, bring just out the, the sugars. Looks, yeah. And then it brings out some of the sugars. Okay. 
some natural sugars right. in there. Okay, so this is a really easy recipe. Here's some really great local farmer's market vegetables. I got some radicchio, some um, broccolini, and I've got some really awesome mushrooms. Okay, oh, these are the like trumpets, nice. yeah. So I take a little bit of olive oil. You're just gonna drizzle that right on top of this, like so, not too much, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna take a little salt. There. A little go, pepper. Look how easy this is. You can go high. Yeah. 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 There you go. And we're just going to turn back over here, get the grill up. I always keep my tongs in my back pocket. Good. That way I never lose them. Uh -huh. And you just literally put a good little, you just want to get a nice char on this. Ah. Look at that. And that doesn't take long at all. About the time you get it on, uh, then you start to taking it off. Really? Off. Yeah, basically. By the time I get all these mushrooms on, I'll be basic, I'll be ready to go with this. Okay. See? You just want to be able to get a nice little, some of that barbecue flavor on it. The radicchio is going to cook super, super fast. Oh, yeah. So while that's going, I'll take that off, but check this out. So we'll pull out our short ribs, okay? I want you to smell this. Okay, so these are in the, in the pressure cooker. Right. And, and we were uh, a little tardy on having propane, so that might not be completely done. Oh, but yeah, that smells great. But again, we put your sauce in there, that your your very own sauce, and some beer some and beer. onions. Exactly. And now, once they're ready to go, see how they're starting to just come off the bone over there? Uh -huh. You want to just take them, pop them right on the grill right there. Okay. So basically, the cooking is taking place there, and again, you're almost doing like the vegetables and uh, getting a little. You color. got it. I'm just taking the headache for everybody out of worrying about how to cook your meat. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous charred, ready to go. Okay. Really easy. Mushroom is going to take a little bit longer, mm -hmm. okay? And then we're going to take some of that yummy, yummy barbecue sauce that we're working with. What's Andy, this barbecue can. sauce again? I don't know who makes this I stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to meet this guy. Yeah. He makes good sauce. Yeah. So we just put this right on here? Right on top, yeah. And we literally just want to caramelize that right onto the meat. Okay. So the sugars, the cider vinegar, some of those roasted chilies are going to crust right onto that steak. Mm. Does that look awesome? That, that does. It looks good. It smells great. Just like Andy, that. you're a pro. I gotta bring you in with me back to LA. Let's start you grilling know, again. This, this ain't my first barbecue, my friend. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Nice. So this is nice char. We're gonna turn this over. And then I'm gonna show you guys an awesome, awesome starter dish. Dads, this is one of my favorite things to do. Um, moms, you'll love this too, I'm sure. But check this out. So we'll pull this off. Mm -hmm. We'll let the mushrooms go on just a little bit longer. I'm gonna put them off the heat. But come on back with me. Let me show you something really cool. Okay, we've got 20 seconds. Uh-oh. Knock quick. this baby out. So I'm check this out. Here. We've got awesome all-natural uh, prosciutto. Mm -hmm. No antibiotics. No, really good stuff. None of the nitrates, all that no stuff. No nitrates. You yeah. got it. If I can open it. Uh-huh. Uh, we have five, four, four three. three. So two. we're going to put this in plate <laughs> later. We'll show you the finished product coming up in just a bit. <laughs> we'll be back. Stay uh, tuned. It looks... Sharon Hackman. We are so excited about this, folks. We've wrapped up our meal, but before the break, just a few moments ago, you were making a starter. So let's refresh people on what you were going to do with this starter. It looks lovely. Easy. Super easy. So remember those grilled charred apricots that we have over here? Paired well with the prosciutto. Like I said, no antibiotics. They make, Applegate makes like uh, hot dogs and all that stuff, mm -hmm. but the salty and the sweet, mm -hmm. perfect combination. And all you did was take it out of the package. There was oh, that's no it, prep really. for those yeah. guys. Yeah. Grill the apricots, pull out mm -hmm. the prosciutto, you're done. Okay. That's an easy, easy start, and you look like a chef doing this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look super easy entertaining. Okay, and Here's let's tell people what rib. this is. So we got the plated short rib, braised down, some mushrooms, some broccolini, and the charred radicchio. Simple dish. I took the headache out of worrying of how well it's cut. You got a lot of great flavors. Delicious. Okay, and uh, we have just a couple of minutes, and uh, we, we joked earlier about that sauce that we put on there, and I want to make sure you get some love on this yes, sauce. Yes, because sure, I've had Sharon sauce. It is amazing. Tell people about your sauce and where they can find it. You can find it now at all the New Seasons markets. It is really good. Important to find products out there that don't have high fructose corn mm -hmm. syrup, no preservatives, no artificial flavors. Food should be real, mm -hmm. and uh, it's so amazing how difficult it is to find that in the supermarkets. Can you describe the taste for people at home? Because some sauces are sweeter, some are spicier. What's the oh, it's an explosion in your mouth. All you right. got sweet, smoky, <laughs> everything good, everything that I love out of a product in there should be there. Okay, and, and you can't wait for to the taste fathers it. out there, I just wanted to tell you, I always like to have a nightcap or a day cap. I always <laughs> like a little whiskey. I paired up with Johnny Walker to make this actual um, appetizer. You got smoky flavors out of the whiskey, um, a nice little earthy finish, some nice chocolatey notes, pairs perfectly with the sweet and salty of this dish. Um, dads out there, this shouldn't take you longer than five minutes to make, and you'll be a happy guy on Father's. 
Father's Day. And this right here, is it ready or is it just ready for two It's ready, is it ready to go. for real? Listen, I mean, the flavors are there. It may be a little bit chewy, but you're going to love the taste right, of it. All right, all right. I'm going to. Uh, Why don't you have Kim feed it to me? Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. I'm <laughs> she's got her. She's got her. Kim may throw it at you. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, just pick it up, Andy. Andy, all right. take a bite out of this. There you go. Mm. Oh, man. Man, those flavors with the uh, with the, the the beer and the, your sauce and everything, it really is, is yeah. pretty spectacular. And, the, and we use the sauce just at the end to caramelize right onto the meat. We mm -hmm. just want it to really crust it. All those flavors, the sugars, are going to caramelize right in there and make it nice and sticky. Hey, and Charlie, that's why you get those beautiful hands right mm -hmm. after, you see. Good that's stuff. Sharon, always good to have you Likewise. here. Thanks, darling. Likewise. Good to Thanks see you. And don't forget to pick up Sharon's sauce at New Seasons. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 9. And don't forget, the Junior Parade is going to be broadcast live at 1 o'clock right here on Fox 12. We're going to get to eat and have a good day. Bye.